Hey guys, it's Alexis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an eyebrow routine slash eyebrow care tips because I know eyebrows are kind of a hard thing to start, especially if you have thicker eyebrows and you don't want to look like the genie from Aladdin or something like that or if you're just new to eyebrows in general and you need some guidance and some tips. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything to my face today because I have a lot of dryness, a lot of breakouts and um, my eyes are getting eczema on them again so sorry if you see this big guy right here or anything else. That's just, you're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> So, um, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, um, the first thing which um, kind of has a lot of controversy surrounding it is waxing versus threading. And a lot of people say that it doesn't really matter what you do, you're still going to get the side effects such as wrinkling and like saggy eyelids and stuff like that. But I always heard that waxing really gives you bad wrinkles, that's why I've never done it. And plus you don't get like as precise a line as you would if you were going to get them threaded. A lot of people are kind of babies about the pain with threading. It doesn't really hurt that bad. But if you wait a long time to get them done, like more than the two weeks they tell you, but like I was going through a phase where I got my eyebrows done every three weeks and they were just disgusting and way too thin. So you should definitely wait a couple of months between each eyebrow taking care of or shaping or grooming eyebrow grooming that's what I want to say eyebrow grooming <laughs> because your um the average lifespan of an eyebrow is a couple of months just like your eyelashes because um I've had a lot of problems with my eyelashes falling out and through a lot of like research and my own experience it takes about a good eight weeks for your eyebrows or your eyelashes to fully grow back and to like notice a difference you might notice a difference in like a couple of days but for like the full cycle it's a couple of months and what I really wanted to say was that threading is better than waxing another thing that I do is since my eyebrow hairs are like well not like they are really stubborn um they tend to like really curl up like it's weird because like they don't curl up but they get like very out of shape very quickly so a thing that I like to do is like if I'm washing my face getting ready in the morning um I like to take some hair and like some hair some water and run it through my eyebrows and then take a washcloth or like a towel and really smooth them down and if I'm going to sleep for the night and I'm doing this in my nighttime routine after I do this I like to put like my nightly castor oil that I put to help them stay thick and like conditioned and help them from not falling out and that really helps them keep their shape like through the night and stuff because I toss and turn and everything and they just like end up very untamed in the morning so that's another weird thing I do well not weird I just never heard anybody do that. Without any further ado, let's get into the actual eyebrow routine. So the product I will be using today is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown. And I'm actually going to show you how to use this to the fullest because a lot of YouTubers use this, but I honestly don't think they use it correctly because a little bit goes a long way with this product and you can get carried away very, very quickly. And especially for somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience with their eyebrows or is new to this product in general, you might be turned off to it and you might feel like it's not the right product for you when in reality you just don't know how to really work with it and that's okay because I'm going to show you a tip that I haven't really seen anybody do. So what I like to do is take the dip brow and take some rose water and I've experimented putting the rose water like really close and spraying it and really far away and I'm not really sure which one I like better so I'm gonna try like one really close and two far away so you want to just make sure you spray it and kind of wave it around to like catch that flying mist and you just want to have a lot of it sitting in there then you want to take the brush you will be using 
today I am going to be using this 208 brush from MAC. You want to take enough of the product in there to fully cover um, the thickness of the brush, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, don't really, really rub it in there. You just want to cover the brush and then wipe off the excess on the side. Now, it doesn't really matter if you comb your brow hairs before or after, because for me, I comb them the entire time to make sure that they are not going all over the place. And we are going to do the daring thing and just go right in there. You want to line the bottom first because, well, for me, that's the part where I'm really focusing most of the product because that's the part that I really want to be perfect. And you just want to go slowly and gently. Don't like hammer the product in there you want to make short hair like strokes like everybody always says now we're going to take our spoolie and just run it through comb out the excess blend it the whole nine yards and you can see if you compare it to the other one how our shape is coming along Just want to repeat the same process to the top. And don't worry if you mess up because the next step is to go in with concealer and really carve out your brows and correct that shape. I think that one's pretty much done. Now I'm just repeating the same process on the next one. There actually is one part I want to show you um, because I really want to make my brows as perfect as possible in this video and show you every single possible step you could take. You can choose to skip steps, add more steps that you find along the way and discover yourself because a lot of makeup and a lot of doing your brows is discovering your own technique, your own plan. Everybody's faces are set up differently. Everybody's brows are shaped differently. Do whatever works for you. Adapt it to your own liking. This video is just like a base for you guys. I'm going to show you the Anastasia number 12 brush that I used to use, but it's a little bit thicker than the MAC 208 brush, so therefore it applies more products. So I only really like to use it if if I could find it first. If I really have an area that didn't roll back from the last time I did my brows, but the last time I did my brows was in October. I've been upkeeping them myself. Um, but I'm just gonna go. What was it? I'm just gonna go over them with this spoolie because they're still here and here. I do like this one, and my brows are actually starting to set. So I'm going to go over this area where the tail is, make that a little bit thicker, and then extend the tail. Like I said, we are going to be applying the concealer, so don't worry. Thank God for concealer. I think I'm about done for now. I might go in and add some final touches because I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my brows. So I'm just going to be taking this MAC Concealer Palette and the Skin Tone Shade. I'm not going to use a highlight shade like most people do. I'm just going to use the shade of my skin tone. And I'm just going to go underneath the brow and on top.
I'm just gonna correct any final um, shapes that I may have accidentally taken away with the concealer because I try to meet the concealer to my natural hair as much as possible. gonna go in with the concealer one more time because you know me now I'm just gonna take my finger and blend the concealer down I usually like to blend it down like up into my crease so that you really can't see it and usually I'll go over with a powder that matches but ugh, just pull myself since I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to do that. You really want to make sure you blend that inner part too. This is what my brows look like once they're completely filled in. I had to do the rest off camera because I started to get like really anal about having every single brow hair look good. And this is probably way too intense for me. Not probably wouldn't go out like this, but I just wanted to show you like how perfect you could actually get them. Um, things to remember: practice makes perfect. Your brows are sisters, not twins, and you will eventually get it and you'll have your brows on fleek. So with that in mind, rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.